all right y'all so before we get started um i want to go ahead and thank everybody for um your support and everything um all my new subscribers welcome i appreciate y'all welcome 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 we do a lot over here and with everything going on it's all about the homestead right now um from here on out because like I say prepping and stuff is a lifestyle change it's nothing that you just stop and everything like that and then start back when you want to so I'm going to be harvesting some stuff today not much because the garden is just not getting to what it's doing but some stuff needs to be taken off um yeah and I'm just going to be outside a little bit um before the rain come back because we've been getting rain for the past couple days and that is why I've been delayed on what I got to do. But, um, yeah, so one of the things I'm going to talk about a lot in this video is about rationing. Well, you're going to hear me mention that a couple of times. It's because ration out your garden. You should be growing things in there that easy to be, um, that you can ration out. And it'll feed, you know, feed people in different ways. Feed your family in different ways. Like, um, having a little bit of this and a little bit of that to make it stretch out even more but everybody still get the nutrients and stuff so that's what we'll be talking about uh because y'all so many people is hungry so many people are starving right now um they were starving before the prices went up and they really are starving now because these food food banks and stuff do not have enough food to give the amount of food that they normally would give so if you are able to grow your own food go ahead and do that okay Let's get into this video. All right, y'all. So it's been raining like crazy, but I needed to come out here and get um, some of these switch charts because the rain water has been like really making everything grow, and I am excited about that. So while I harvest some of my switch charts, I'm gonna talk to y'all about rationing your food because with all these shortages and everything like this that's going on. Y'all, this is going to be our way of eating. Now, if you're new to the channel, um, this is what I do. I grow in containers, okay? Look at that. I grow in containers. So I have my little um, thing here that I'm putting my stuff in. But we have, this is the way you should be able to eat. You should be eating or trying to get used to eating. Um coming out to your garden getting your vegetables and stuff um, if you have chickens and you have them as meat birds um, or if you have quail a lot of y'all been saying that y'all are looking into getting quails um, those are ways that you can start your little homestead and cut the cost of food um, with these high prices, you can ration your food out um, this way with no problem. And you can do it all in containers. You can do it inside. You can do it outside. You can do it in small spaces. But it is very important that you start to do something. Okay? Because right now, even our leafy greens and stuff in the store does not... Our, any of our produce in the store do, is not too appealing okay it's not too appealing so y'all grow y'all food as much as you can okay so right here I just got what I'm gonna get I guess I'll go ahead and get this um, for us these charts and when we talk about rationing your food it's because this is meals you know it takes the stress off in some of your canned goods um it takes the stress off your canned goods because you can put this with some rice or potatoes or whatever, some meat, whatever the case may be. Um, so right there from one, from just one five gallon bucket, and I could have put more in here, more in that bucket, but just from one five gallon bucket, this is what I got. And now these will cook down. That's why I say this is a good way to ration because you could take this and put it in some soup and by the time everything cooked down at least everybody have some type of you know leafy greens um and stuff like this but i do have another um thing of swiss chards right here that i'm about to go ahead and harvest so what i'm doing is i'm getting the bigger leaves 
and leaving the smaller ones and the more you take off your plant the more you are on um, the, the more it'll produce so you want to get your food I always tell y'all get your food before the animals get it the bugs get it because they will come looking all right and you got to look at it's not only that us that's having a hard time with food uh, because of everything going on you got to think about the animals and stuff they are going to be looking um, for more food and stuff too you know the ones that eats from these restaurants when they throw stuff out what if these restaurants and stuff close and there is no food in the dumpsters for them they're going to be on the prowl too so you want to try to get your food and not let it sit out there there's just so many different things we need to look into and think about with everything going on, okay? So that's pretty much what I'm saying. And rationing your food is very important. It's the last long. We are not need, we are not in a state where we need to be overeating, but we need to be getting the nutrition. And like I have told you, I'm not a doctor or nutritionist or nothing, but I do know our body is not made to um overeat <laughs> so that is a good thing let me move this out the way so i can get in here that's a good thing we are programmed to think that we need an abundance amount of food daily if you eat the right foods you will see that you it don't take a lot for you to get the nutrients okay look at this look at this Woo. I supposed to have done done this video but it's just been so much rain and the rain has slowed down I said let me go out here and get my food go out here and get my food so more can come you know yeah and the good thing about Swiss straw you can eat the stems too just chop them up and saute them like you do the leaves or uh, put them in whatever you're going to put them in. So I have pretty much gotten all the, the taller ones. I'm gonna leave those to grow some more. So this is what I got from two five-gallon buckets. Now think about if you one person in the house, two five-gallon buckets, and this is what I was able to get. Look at that! Ain't that pretty? Oh my goodness! Ain't that pretty? They so healthy. So, um, next, I am going to go ahead and harvest some of my lettuce. Um, some of my red lettuce. I might as well while I'm already over here. Um, ooh, do I want to harvest it? No, I think I'm gonna wait on that. I think I'm gonna wait on that. I'm gonna wait on that. Um, that's the reason why, cause I want to make a dish. Do I want to? Yeah, I'm going to wait on that. I'm waiting. So let's go through the garden and see what else we can get. All right, y'all. So over here, I got some beans I need to go and pull. Okay. So right here is my red um, swan beans. And I got a couple of them that's ready. You know, so let me go. They should have done been pulled off. See, I may need my... So it's just a couple of them on here, but I don't want to waste no food. Um, so I'd rather just get a couple that can add to a stir fry or something with something else. Like if you have already got some vegetables or something, you can add some of yours. So 
um, it'll take them off to let them know, hey, continue on producing. Some of these are very small. I'm going to let them get a little bigger. Um, but at the same time, um, you'll have your stuff. You're not wasting anything, you know? Let's see? And that's what it's all about. I don't care if you get five beans. That can go into something else. And that's what we're talking about rationing. Let it add up. Be like, oh, five beans, just five beans, six beans. Well, this is going to be more beans. But right now, that's what's ready. I don't know what that bug is right there. Let me try to get him off. <laughs> I don't know where he went. But these are my yellow wax beans and I looked the other day and I saw that I did have some beans that was ready I love these and see that's what I mean this is stir fry this is stir fry you know every bit counts all these bugs is out because it's been raining like crazy get in here and see which beans is ready now, like I say, this is at the beginning stages. You want to take off what's ready. And trust me, a lot more beans will come to where you have abundance. I have grown beans for years. And you always have some to pull off. Not many in the beginning, but you have some. And that's what's happening here. I think I got the bigger ones off, okay? Nothing right here yet. Right there, all right. So, I got more beans on there, but I'm gonna let them get a little bigger, as y'all can see. And it's gonna be a lot of, oh, we got these right here. I need to go ahead and take these. Go ahead and take these. I saw, I didn't even see these. Glad I got to this little area. Oh yeah, everything is growing. I can't wait till this is gonna be full of beans. They they give a lot of beans, y'all. A lot of beans. Um, this yellow wax. So I'm coming out here um, to see if I got any eggs for the day. Why well, not? I should. <laughs> um, but I haven't put. I haven't came out here and checked for eggs today. So let's go in. So they are excited. They getting big. And what did y'all do to y'all food? Mm. Okay. Go in here and see. They just done. Y'all done knocked over your water thing. Top of your, oh my goodness. Chickens can be messy. What do we got? Woo! Thank y'all. Thank y'all. So we got five eggs. Oh, that's a big one. This is my Easter egg. Or she lays the blue egg. I don't know if y'all can see. But it's a blue. It's a bluish color. Thank you, girls. Thank y'all. Y'all can see it now. It's got that little blue tint to it. I see it better, but the camera ain't making, ain't doing no good. Hey, girls. To my little ones over there. All right. Okay. So yes, I love how the rain has made everything grow like so so good. So cucumbers, just a quick overview of what the garden looks like so far. Um, all my beans and stuff over here, beans, potatoes. I still got a lot that I got to transplant. Um, and when I say a lot, let me just show y'all. Because here's the greenhouse. And all the stuff, all my corn and stuff right there. Um, that I have been 
dropping seeds for. Y'all can see. Got still got these empty things down here. I need to drop seeds for. Got stuff up there that's coming. Um, all that stuff right there. Got stuff over here that's need to get transplanted. Everything from seeds. All right, y'all. So this is what I ended up with. All this Swiss chard. Um, so excited about that. And then I got five eggs. Yes. And these couple beans. But that's all right, though, because they are going to go in something, a soup or something. Add with some more beans that's, you know, out of the can or whatever. So, yeah. So, that's what I got out of the garden so far. I'm so happy for the garden to be doing what it's doing. And I can't wait for my harvests to get even bigger. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I do. So, with that being said, I want y'all to be safe, okay? I'll see you in the next video if it's God's will.